Hello everyone, wanted to pop in here to start this video and get going with the video. Uh, but today I stopped by and picked up an old, old, old Planet Junior wheel hoe. And uh, basically what I've got left is the plate or what you would normally have is where your wheels go in. And this is where you have your toolbar. I uh, see rusted, it's old, but it is a old Planet Junior. And then we've got our wheel. Again, rusted, just, uh, it had actually only been out of use for one year. The guy I picked it up from bought it from an old gardener who was getting old, had sold his, his, far, or his house or, and didn't garden. And so this has been sitting in a garage for one year, but otherwise it has been in use for, I'm guessing, probably 40 years, 50 years. And so i um, excited to restore, excited to see how it all turns out. Uh, but when I got it, the handles were just uh, just rotted, dry rotted to shreds. Well, hello, ducks. You gonna help out? That sounds good. Uh, and so I took the handles off and I had some rough hewn lumber and it was about the same width, with not being so worrisome there. And I went ahead and cut it and we've sanded out the handles pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and hit them with my, my uh, this was all by hand but uh, I'll hit it with my electric sander. So we've got our handles ready. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna hit this with steel wool until we get it down to a nice polished state. And then we are going to give that a nice, oh, where we got? Black Rust-Oleum. And then the handles, or excuse me, the wheel will get a black Rust-Oleum and this will get the John Deere green old planet junior type color there and then on our handles we will sand those down nice and smooth and then we'll give them some bold linseed oil so we're excited to get this going i'm gonna go ahead and start um polishing it down getting everything getting all that old rust there maybe the ducks will help they don't hurt and so we will see all i did have to go pick up some new nuts and bolts uh, which was fine just got um, everything that was standard there with it and we're excited to get it going so the planet junior rebuild is underway here we go we've got a lot of work done here hands are showing it here's that toolbar can tell we can actually read it now most of that rust is pretty much mo all that rust has been taken off we've gone down to the metal there you can tell it's a planet junior usa it looks like a k412 or k912 i'll look that up and then we've got the rest of the assembly there you can see getting down to that original planet junior green and this is the k290 piece down to that green again. This is the K4243, pretty, co pretty cool. Uh, getting down to that, there's just the original nuts and bolts for the wheel and then for the toolbar. And so those are still solid. So I'll keep using those. And then here's the wheel. Had a lot of surface rust on there that I was able to um, hammer off and then uh, polish it down or paper it down. I have steel wool, but honestly, I remembered how much I hate steel wool. So I've just been using I just used, what was this? Uh, no, that wasn't that. Using the 60 grit sandpaper and that did, a, it does a great job. And uh, you know, this is gonna get painted everything. And if I was gonna just get it down to metal, obviously you'd need some steel wool to polish it up. But this is down to, I'm pretty happy with that. I used some WD-40 there to uh, kind of break up some of that surface rust and then get into all those nooks and crannies. but. Hey, I just gotta say this. I'm out here in the out here in the greenhouse. Got strawberries behind me, but this is just such a testament to what American manufacturing used to be. I mean, just thinking about this, 50, 60 years ago. I mean, however long ago this wheel this wheel hoe, the Planet Junior, was made with parts and pieces that were made to last a lifetime. And yes, rust took it over. It was rusty, it was dirty, but man, that guy used it. I'm not sure if he was the original owner, but there was an old farmer using this up until last year. And uh, now with good parts, made manufactured parts, you, I'm, I'm, I'm restoring this with hopes that 
my grandchildren will be able to use this. That that's that is what I mean. I, I don't want to get on a tangent here, but I hope that we can we can get to a small as as just as just a clo a bit closer to what it used to be, what American manufacturing used to be with parts and pieces and and, and the the final product that was not made to to last a few years with programmed obsolescence into it. But no, parts and pieces and, and a final product that was made to last not only your lifetime, but many, many, your, many, many more lifetimes. I think Merle said it best. I wish a Ford and a Chevy would still last 10 years like they should. Well, back in the day when they made these wheel hose, they didn't make them to last 10 years. They made them to last 100 years plus. And so I'm excited about that. Next up, we're going to go ahead and get a first coat of paint on these guys. And while that is drying, I'm going to get the paint on them. I'm going to go ahead and sand up those handles some more, and then we will stain the handles. So getting things going, uh, should have a real, a real solid footing on it here by, uh, by the time we go in for supper. So we'll see you back here with a little bit more progress. This morning, we have everything kind of drying. I ended up going ahead and painting, spray painting things out here, and then I had it drying under the racks uh, in here in the greenhouse where we have strawberries growing. But underneath there, got the fan running here today. It's a warm day. Uh, but so they were there last night. And I had them just on some garden staples that I hooked up. Let's not focus in there, sorry about that. Let's see about that. Yeah, a little bit better. And so hung them up there, painted them, and then I brought them out this morning and hit them with another coat. So a couple coats, they should be good. Uh, here we go, this should give you a little bit better look, but wheel black, green parts, and then here, We've got our handles that have are, I've done two coats of linseed oil. And I think they're looking really nice. A couple knots there towards the, the top. Shouldn't cause any issues the way it was cut. But um, yeah, this has been a fun project. Um, excited to keep it going. And I will keep you all posted on kind of the next step. Next step will be, um, well, drilling out some holes and getting the handles fitted once everything dries and then getting it bolted together and Hey, maybe running it through the garden a little bit. So we'll keep you posted on it and be back in a bit. I am going ahead and putting together the arms. And so what I've done is gone ahead and I got my dowel rod. I put some wood glue on there, but no problem. I'll undo it and just whittled it down and then sanded it. And well, you wouldn't have to do that if you would have like a, a three-fourths hole and a three-fourths dowel rod, but I stupidly bought a one-inch rod thinking, oh, a little bit more sturdy, but I lost my one-inch spade bit, so I had a three-fourths spade bit, had to whittle it down. No big problem. So it's gonna fit in there, and then what I'm doing, and a lot of times they would just wood glue it together, but hey, I'm a little rough on them, I wanna do it a little bit better, is I have this, it is a screw, it's a wood, it's for wood, and it's got an Allen key there. And so if I ever need to undo it, I can always undo that. Uh, and it went in there pretty smoothly, nice and tight there. It's gonna be really solid. So I drilled a hole in the dowel rod uh, about the size of the actual width of that. And so that it will have teeth to dig in there. And then I just drill a bit, a little bit all the way through there, that same bit and one a little bit wider for that last little catch. So that is where we are at, and uh, it's coming together nice. We've got our dowel in place, screwed in, tightened in there. Now we're gonna go ahead and reassemble our parts and pieces. It's amazing that just a day ago, seeing that video, it was all rusted and looked like it was worse for the wear, ready for the junkyard, and a little bit of elbow grease, the right paint, and the sun. And we've got something ready to roll. And the wheel looks even better. I think the wheel looks real nice. So we'll go ahead and get that put together. <laughs> I had to take a picture on my phone because I don't 100% remember how to uh, reconfigure it, but we'll get it reconfigured and uh, 
I did take, I did screw the holes there. They're at one and three inches, so exactly two inches apart. Uh, pretty easy to do. So we got those drilled out, and now we'll see. Moment what we we've all been waiting for. Finished up the Planet Junior rebuild. Homemade handles. Looking pretty good. Finished the paint job on it. You can see, I haven't took it through the garden yet, but. Uh, it's been out and about. I did go ahead and sand down and coat the pow coat the plow setting is what I got with it. Uh, not something I'll necessarily use a lot of in the garden, I guess for potatoes, but uh, I'm really looking forward to getting the oscillating hoe from, oh, there's some, uh, some grease in there from where I greased the tie rod. But you can see, I think it looks pretty nice. I ended up doing three coats of boiled linseed oil on the handles and went with some hex head bolts there. Turned out all right. Feels nice and sturdy. I do like the handle. I feel like that's really rigid and something that if I needed to, I could undo pretty easily. The handles were pretty much to spec like I said, that was from home, um, or some rough hewn pine lumber, Span or Spanish pine lumber that I had that I cut out and sanded these guys down, mostly by hand. I did use my electric sander for a little bit of the, the heavy duty work, but I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with that. That's a mean looking machine right there. And this is, it's interesting, this model is the 12 inch wheel. <laughs> Looks like a lot of the, well, the Haas tools that um, that make the new or the, the the new wheel hose are built off of the 15-inch wheel. So I'll still be able to use same attachments there, but wouldn't be able to necessarily make this a double wheel hoe or use any of their um, conversion kits. But that's all right. You can see I painted that top there. I gotta say, hey, it looks pretty nice. It feels good. I think we can. I'll do it one-handed here. So you can see how it moves about. That's bad lighting. Here, we'll come over here. Moves nice, wheels free. It feels good. Let's see if that plow has some life in it still. Oh, I'd say so. I would say so. All right. Well, hopefully everyone enjoyed this build of the Planet Junior. Well, Planet Junior, or the rebuild, the, the renovation. It was really fun, I gotta say. This is really fun. Taking something that's been around for, well, at least 60 years, possibly 80, 90, and uh, you know, something that had been used up until a year ago, and now giving it a new life where, hey, I'm expecting my grandkids to use this if they want to. So it's, hey, it's a Planet Junior wheel hoe. Not much more to say about that. They don't, they do make them, they make them like this now, uh, but for a good long while there, they didn't make them like this. And really, there's not too many companies that make them like this anymore. There's a few, Cost Tools makes them now, they're real solid, American made, but. I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with it. Hopefully my grandkids will look back and say, Pappy, where'd you get those handles from? I'll say, well, I made them myself, I made them myself. So excited about it. Thank you all for tuning in. Not necessarily something that I do every day, but I'm excited. I'm gonna keep my eyes open for a double, Planet Junior double wheel hoe that I need to, that I can renovate and build some more handles for. This was a fun project to work on and I'm excited to do it again. So until next time, we'll see ya.